So I guess I have to do a third one of these, because why not, I guess? So I guess I have to do a third one of these, because why not, I guess? It's fun. Um, I covered the Black Lives Matter website uh, a while back. It was entertaining. I also covered a few other things that went with it, such as the origins of Black Lives Matter, the racist Marxist movement that is an intersectional feminism, and much, much more. So they're, they're older, they're archived. Go ahead and look it up. Just search Black Lives Matter or something in my channel, and you'll find them. However, apparently I have to do these just once more, because why not? Because I love repeating myself. Um, Rudy Giuliani came out and said that Black Lives Matter is a domestic terrorist organization. I, I don't necessarily agree, actually. BLM is a little bit um, aggressive to say that they're, uh, they got some friends that have no problem burning buildings. I don't necessarily say that's Black Lives Matter, though. I think that's Antifa. Hold on a sec. An annoying cat this is a good thing. All right. Anyways, um, it's not necessarily that they are the ones that are violent. What's happening here is Zantifa is taking the opportunity to side with their comrades because they're also communists and set fire to buildings. So think of it this way. The Democratic Party... Have they actually done the violence or do they just open the doors and let people do the violence for them to try and make Trump look bad, to try to say, you know, everything's going to hell, stuff like that. So not necessarily is the Democratic Party a group of violent communists and, and socialists. No, no, no. Antifa, they can easily just throw Antifa under the bus. Or be like Nadler and say, they're a myth. They don't exist. You don't know what you're talking about, despite the evidence otherwise, right? So here's the fun part, right? So if they're, if they're um, not domestic terrorist organization, they have soldiers that are. See, that's the thing. Antifa and the little bitches thereof are nothing more than bootlicking soldiers doing the bidding of their friends, or at least the people they think are friends, because the latest predicament is Ted Wheeler is like, oh shit, I need to bring law and order back to my city. It's kind of gone crazy out there after he got tear gassed while joining Antifa. My goodness, that cat is a very special cat. She's very vocal. Anyways, so he gets tear gassed and wonders why he got tear gassed. He's like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I got tear gassed. The Antifa members booed him on stage because he wasn't willing to defund the police after he saw what they were doing day in and day out for the last two and a half months. Almost three. Almost three months. So, yeah, I'm not surprised. He didn't turn tail and throw. No, 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 no. See, the thing is, is those people are useful idiots to make Trump look bad, or so he thought. Um, they're useful idiots to make him look bad. He, he knows that, too, because local Oregor o Oregonians... Local citizens of Oregon are sick of the shit. There, is a, there has been a legit move to secede from Oregon and join Idaho by county. A bunch of counties tried to do it. A judge just recently blocked it, I guess. They're like, no, 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 no. We want nothing to do with Portland. We're done. 
Let Portland destroy themselves. And uh, mm, a yawn of the eyes. And uh, let them just torch the village, I guess. Because why not? But uh, that's the thing. Was it Black Lives Matter that put this situation in play? Or was it Antifa that did all the violence that put this situation in play? It's Antifa. So I don't necessarily agree that Black Lives Matter is a domestic terrorist group. However, they are extremely Marxist and extremely communist. Now, on this particular Facebook post, I posted like I posted a link to Black Lives Matter and said, Hey, why don't you guys take a look? They are extremely Marxist, extremely sexist, and extremely racist. Period. I got a bunch of comments. Oh, I read that. How about you... Uh, quote where you saw this stuff why don't you quote this what you know i read the whole thing i don't see those things in there i don't see it word for word they want to take it literally they're looking for the exact words that say we are a marxist group because they can't think past their own noses these are simpletons so i gave them some snide ass remarks because they're being snide themselves because most of the time, I assume, and I straight up assume, that anybody that's acting like that obviously knows it's there. They just want me to prove it so that there is beyond a shadow of doubt. And the only reason they're calling out for literal is because it's not literally explicitly stated that they're Marxists. Besides the three attesting to themselves being Marxist and socialist or communist. One of them's a flat-out communist. The other ones, the other two are socialists. I've heard them say it. It was in some... All three of them were on stage, and I don't remember where it was, but it was a few years back. Um, I think I have a clip of it in one of my older videos. They were basically, yeah, we're, we're communists. I was educated by this person. Anybody that uses the word comrade as an example, you can pretty much assume... They're probably communist or socialist, most likely communist. The only time comrade is used in uh, language is with communism. Communism, comrade. Ooh, that kind of rings. Isn't that great? So they don't want to really read the between the lines. They don't want to listen to the other things they've said. They're just like, where on that website does it say that? And taking it literal, which is great. You go right ahead. They never actually said that. Oh, oh and then they said, well, where's the racism? Well, where's anything about anybody other than white? They, they do mention that they want to destroy the Western nuclear family. They say that in there after they're talking about parents. So what they really mean by parents is their community is the parent, not the individual. You don't need a dad, and you don't need anyone else but the woman. So they're exclusively feminist, which means they're sexist. They're exclusively against males in general, white males specifically. There's never, there's not a mention. They're not anti-white. At least they try not to be. But that's not true. Because when you t listen to them talk, you know they're anti-white. They talk about whiteness. They talk about white privilege. They talk about all this other shit. And really all that stuff is, is white supremacy wrapped up in a new raptor called victimhood. That really is all it is. We're a victim of the system of white supremacy and white privilege as you make millions lying to people. It's pretty impressive, really. Wish I thought of that myself. I could lie to people and make millions, but my character would be shit. So no thanks. Anyways, the, the comments are full of it. They're like, hey, why don't you literally point this out? It's as if these people have not been paying attention. Lo and behold, they probably haven't. Or they're a bunch of sock puppet accounts, one of the two. Because all of them pretty much had the same thing to say. Where is that in that stuff? I read that. That's not there. Really? It's not there? Did you have reading comprehension problems? Do you not know that all those sentences kind of connect? And you formulate a framework 
of what they're thinking. They're against the nuclear family. They're against all things that are white, Western society in general. They'd rather uplift queer, trans, and whatever, and the parents should be the community. Communal parenting, communism. Destruction of the nuclear family, individualism, and males in general being a part of the family. A whole lot of language that has nothing to do with straight. And they also actually call out there that they want to destroy heteronormative behavior or whatever, meaning opposite sex family parenting and, and relationships, anti-male, heteronormative. That's, that's the term they use to try to sound scientific when they say, fuck straight people. That's really what that means. Heteronormative. Hetero is the normal. Yeah, it is. We're 90% of the fucking planet. Doesn't that, doesn't that kind of suck for you? 10%. That's all you got. Women are a little bit higher, actually, because their sexuality seems to be a little bit more fluid than males for evolutionary purposes, I assume. I'm not sure what that's about, to be honest. I'm not in biology. Anyways, I think I'll leave it there. Um, I'm not sure where this started, but um, it's another, another sophist thing. If you point out the, you know, you point out their framework, you give them examples, all they're going to do is ask for more evidence. You can't prove it, all this other shit. It's, it's, they don't pay attention. They don't connect everything together. They can't formulate a full framework. All they're looking for is direct, literal statements. And if they don't have that direct, literal statement, you're a liar. Yeah. Some of us pay attention. Others do not. The ones that don't are looking for shit handed out to them in a silver platter. Like evidence. The evidence is out there. I don't have to do your homework for you. I gave you the starting point. The same starting point I took. I went and looked at their website and said, what the fuck is this? Then I dug into the terminology and then I dug into the people's bios. And then I listened to a few things of the, what they said on stage. And I went... These people are very sexist, very racist, and fuck these people, they're communists. That was the end of it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I recommend going back to those other ones and taking a look, because I did a little bit deeper dive than this one. I'm just bitching about the responses I've received in telling people that these people are trash. And the responses are everything you might expect. So, I'll see you next time.